good afternoon. My name is Manfred from Perception Park. Today I introduce you our Perception Studio, which is actually the first chemical color imaging tool. Chemical color imaging is actually the next evolutionary step in the machine vision. So we're starting with monochrome imaging, then followed by color imaging. So for the past few years, we were talking a, a lot of 3D imaging. And now the chemical properties of objects getting more, of, more and more of interest for, uh, for, for the machine vision industry. And therefore, we have the chemical color imaging technology. But what is chemical color imaging? Chemical color imaging is the visually guided process to make hyperspectral features accessible. It is the abstraction, standardization, and calibration of hyperspectral cameras for machine vision, and it enables the universal, repeatable application of hyperspectral instruments for machine vision. Well, we can sum up that into five points. So we see these checkboxes here. If we can fill them, then we have a chemical color imaging compliant system. But why do we need chemical color imaging? So uh, here we see a color image of a plastic bottle. It is small data, it's about one megabyte. Uh, <coughs> uh, and you have several uh, standard processing tools uh, to handle this data. Of course, you have standard interfaces, Gigavision, camera link, and what, are, what else. But we can see here this, uh, this paper label on this bottle. It's this blue label on a blue bottle. It's really hard to differentiate from the plastic. So uh, why there is no chemical information in this image? Uh, what can we do? We can use uh, hyperspectral cameras. Looks complicated, it is. Uh, we know in hyperspectral data, there is a lot of chemical information hidden. Uh, uh, it is hyperspectral data. They are based on hundreds of wavelengths. And you remember, on the color image, we had one megabyte. Now we have 400 megabytes. And there are no standard processing tools to handle the, these data. The answer is chemical color imaging. Uh, chemical color imaging represents the chemical information in, uh, in a format that everybody can understand. So we have again one megabyte based on three wavelengths. We can process this data with standard processing tools. Uh, but what do we see here? It's uh, like here. In this example, the red color represents the PET plastic, blue color represents a PE plastic, um, and the green color represents uh, uh, the paper and the label. But we can also see there are some different other colors. It's like here some yellow and here some purple. Uh, we know that purple is actually a mixture of the colors red and blue. So in, in, in the meaning of chemical color imaging, a purple color here on the, on, 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 the, on the neck of the bottle also means that there must be a mixture of PET and PE plastic. How can we apply that? Uh, the easiest way is to use uh, the Perception Studio. It is the first uh, software suite for the application of chemical color imaging and it, and it provides a very easy to use uh, six step workflow to, uh, to apply chemical color imaging. Just connecting a camera, plug and play, record a representative scene, select representative objects, apply some pre-processing, and then you can directly start modeling your application, uh, actually to find your uh, application relevant information. If you have a, um, a, 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 a real-time uh, application, then the Perception Studio also provides a real-time engine. Good, first step, connect uh, with the camera, plug and play. Um, if you want to have a, if you want to develop a universal, valid, uh, repeatable application, you have to take care that your cameras are standardized, corrected, and calibrated. Don't worry, the Perception Studio is doing that for you. Further, we also want to have, uh, we want to use that camera that suits best our actual application. So therefore, the Perception Studio provides one user experience for using all cameras. We have a standardized camera setup process, so if you just use uh, a new camera from a different mm -hmm. manufacturer, don't worry, it's always the same process. Of course, we understand standard interfaces. Next step, record, record a representative scenery. So uh, here we see some rice with some maggots on it and some wood parts. Once we have recorded the scene, 
the Perception Studio provides several <coughs> tools to edit data, to pre-process the, the, this data, uh, to apply chemical color imaging methods, but also to apply further methods like uh, for classification. Next step, let's select the uh, rep se let's se select representative uh, objects. This is just by using the mouse, clicking, uh, uh, clicking into the objects of interest, and this is now the base to solve our application. Next step, apply pre-processing. Here we see three different pre-processing met methods. In the left image, it's very good to differentiate between rice and the wood, for example. The center image shows us as more the a differentiation of the, of, the, of the maggots on the rice. So if we are looking for the maggots, we maybe choose the center uh, pre-processing method. Good, but we want to get out clearly uh, the, the chemical information so we can apply some chemical color imaging method. So we see here a screenshot of the Perception Studio. On the top ribbon bar, we see uh, all the tools that I showed you before. And then we have two images. So the left image is actually our working stage. The right image always shows us our output information that would get directly into our image processing tool. The red rectangle highlights now the, um, the chemical color imaging methods and the extract method is, is, is selected and we get a clear output image, green representing rice, blue for the wood and red for the maggots. A very important thing here is that every click gives you a direct feedback on your, uh, on your output image. Um, yeah, a few months ago, we introduced our one-click classification uh, that is really good for, for some uh, applications like plastic sorting. If you have 10 or 15 plastics, you select the objects of interest, you click the classification button, and the system uh, is finding a classification model to, uh, uh, to process for you. So finally, we have solved our application. In the center, we have the chemical color image. Uh, sometimes you just look for a special type of object. In this case, maybe maggots. Uh, you could stream that in parallel as well. How do we apply it? Um, as mentioned before, take any hyperspectral camera, connect it by standard, in standard interfaces with our uh, perception studio, design your application, and then you get a chemical color images and you can use your image processing tools that you are familiar with to process these data. Uh, applying that for a, <coughs> for a real-time application uh, could look like that, so for sorting plastic bottles on a conveyor belt. Good, uh, now we showed. Um, the Perception Studio is, uh, supports cam camera standardization and calibration. It provides uh, standard interfaces. It is a visually guided process to extra extract the features of interests, and it is compatible with any vision systems because all the, uh, the scientific methodology is encapsulated. So Perception Studio is CCI compliant. Additionally, it provides a real-time engine. It provides multi-feature streaming, and it is uh, uh, unlimited extendable by plugins. Uh, yeah, and quite easy to reconfigure for new applications. Good, where to buy? We have uh, several partners around the world, so if your region is uh, not highlighted yet, so please contact us directly. So in that sense, uh, thank you very much for your kind attention. And have a good day. <laughs> Uh, maybe just one more thing. <laughs> uh, in June this year, 7 and 8, uh, we have the conference on hyperspectral imaging in industry uh, in Graz in Austria. Uh, it is a conference established by the industry, for the industry. Uh, a lot of companies will present the produ products there. Uh, we are really, really happy to know that they will introduce some new products as well. So it would be great if I could see some of you there in June. It's a beautiful city in summer. <laughs> Thank you.